welcome to Fit for Life with Karen. And I'm glad you joined us this morning. We're going to do our second strength training show. Remember what I said, at least twice a week for strength training with a day, a day or two in between off for each muscle group. You don't want to do the same muscle group two, three, four, five days in a row because the muscle tissue needs time to heal a little bit. So I have my bands ready and you notice my weights kind of match the band. I think I must have done that on purpose. So um, grab your band, grab some water. Uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the bands themselves. They are effective. They are good for strength training. They're portable, they're lightweight, they're inexpensive, and they're an alternative to machines and the handheld weights. So I mean, you can carry them with you, and if you want to take them with you on a trip, that's great too. They pack very well. You could just wash them off with soap and water. Don't put them in, in your uh, dishwasher or your, uh, yeah, or your dishwasher or your washing machine. They, um, they're safe and they can improve your balance and flexibility and they can reduce, the most important thing is that they can reduce frailty. Anything that makes you stronger is good. We'll keep that in mind. So we're gonna do a little bit of a warm up though, just to get that blood circulating. And uh, no music today, we're getting down to business. We're gonna work you a little bit harder today. So we're just gonna kick those legs up. Kick them up, get that blood flowing up to your brain so you'll be able to focus better. You're gonna feel more awake. I feel better when I move, it's as simple as that. Remember what I said, sitting too long can be very dangerous to the body. All right, so now we're gonna reach across and up, do a little bit for the upper body, well, a little bit faster too, just to warm up, and we're stretching a little bit too at the same time. Up and over and reach and stretch. Up, how about out to the sides now? Way over, it's nice to have these arms to hold on to, I hope your chair has arms. So I want you to keep reaching and reaching. How about down now? You can keep your head up if you want to and reach across and reach, reach across. Good. Now we're going to do our head and neck stretches. You're going to just drop that chin right down. Feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck and your upper back. Good. This is a great waker upper. And now we're going to just look up at the ceiling. Don't drop the head back, just looking up. So you're kind of on a slant. We'll drop that head down again and lift it up. And then we'll do one more. Now when you do these things on your own, if you want to do more, that's fine. I probably wouldn't do too many less, but you can always do a little bit more. We'll do it nice and easy. Good, and then looking up at the ceiling again. I just kind of rest my hands here. Uh, feet are flat on the floor. Now we're gonna turn our head to one side, good. And now you can close your eyes or not. I find it relaxing, so my eyes just kind of close on their own, actually. So we're gonna turn again, not your body, but just your head. How does that feel? Is your neck stiff? I don't know if it's morning where you are, but it's a good idea to do these in the morning. You can do them anytime, of course. And we'll go back to the other side. Good. Now we're going to do the eardrop. You must remember this one. We've done this quite a few times. Good. Just dropping the ear to the shoulder. Don't lift the shoulder up. We'll keep it down. And then to the other side, dropping over. And then we'll do one more. Good, and then up. Now we're gonna do some stretching for your torso, for your upper body especially. You're gonna reach way up and then just come forward, good. Drop down, you could keep your head up if you want. Let's reach up again. Now when we come forward like this, this is spinal flexion, isn't it? Spinal flexion, good. Stay down here for a few seconds so you can actually feel those muscles elongating and stretching out, and then we'll go back. So the spine can flex, can it? It can also extend, extend up. So you're gonna reach up, even farther up. You've gotta show some exertion here. 
reaching up to get a good stretch all the way down your side. That's terrific. And up, grab your wrist, and you can help yourself. Just pull that arm right up, good. And then we're gonna switch over to the other side and pull up. So we know the spine can also extend. The spine can also twist. So just be careful on that one. You may not supposed to be doing that for some reason, but for most of you, I'm pretty sure you can do this one. Take this hand. Remember, I'm a mirror. You're looking in a mirror. Crossing over, and all you're going to do is just turn your head in the opposite direction. We're going to do a little bit of a rotation here. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Now you're going to take this hand, cross over, and look in the opposite direction. And hold on. You should feel that stretch. That's a pretty good one. Now you're going to put your hands on your shoulders and circle circle those elbows gives you a good all-around stretch in your upper back and in your shoulders good around can you feel it i can because i haven't been doing these for a while then make smaller circles good and then let's go the other way around and around good you're doing great all right now we're going to do the three posture exercises here we go arms up in a Y, kind of a Y position, and you're going to just bring those arms back and feel your shoulder blades come together. This is a good one. I can really feel this one. All right, and now we're going to do the T. Arms out, straight out from the shoulders, palms down. You can tighten that abdomen a little bit if you want to. And you're going to bring those arms back. Great. Can you feel it? some reason I can feel it more today than usual. Maybe it's the way I slept, huh? Let's bring those hands together. And the last one, the last letter we're going to do is the W. Elbows down. Now as you go back, I'd like you to pull those elbows down a little bit and then go back. Big difference when you do it that way. Wonderful. Good. All right, what we're going to do now is work on the upper body with the bands. So you're just going to wrap Wrap the band once on one side, all the way down, and wrap again on the other side. That's too long. You're not going to get much resistance if there's too much room between the hands. So let's wrap again, and then one more time. It should be about a ruler's length, maybe 14 inches, a little bit more. And you're just going to lift those arms up as high as you can, and you're going to pull out. Pull out to the sides, good. And you're going to feel this, and you're gonna tighten your abdomen. That happens kind of naturally. It just tightens when you do this type of exercise. So that's an added benefit, isn't it? And four. And five, good, keep the arms up. And six. And seven and eight. Now just bring those hands together. You can rest your chin on your hands. Take a little nap there for a couple of seconds. Okay. Um, if you were doing this on your own, I would say do another set. But we have a lot to pack into half an hour. Now, arms straight out this time. Same exercise. Just pull those hands out to the side. One and two and three. Three, can you feel the tightening in your abdomen? You can also breathe out on exertion, so that would be four, and for five, breathe out, for six, breathe out, seven. Just don't hold your breath, that's the important thing. And let's breathe out one more time. I can really feel that in the upper back, and in the shoulders, in the triceps a little bit, and the biceps also. Now, we're going to do it one more way, in one more position. But let's bring the hands together just to rest a little bit. Drop your chin down, good. And then bring it back up. How about down here in front? Like down in front. Remember going to a movie and someone had a great big tall hat on and you couldn't see? You'd say down in front. 
So that's what we're going to do. You're going to pull that band right out. One and two. I could really feel this one. Watch out for rotator cuff problems. You may not, you may not be able to do this one. Or maybe you shouldn't do this one, but you will know. It's your own body and you want to take care of it, but you are getting strengthened with these little inexpensive bands. Out to the side, I'm going to say six, and you know, if I don't say enough, just do a couple of extras while I'm talking in between, and out, good. Bring those hands together, rest your chin right on your hands. You're making a little shelf, and close your eyes, take a little nap, Okay, open your eyes. Uh, now what we're going to do is, we're gonna do the lower body. And that takes a little more work. All right, you're gonna put the band under one foot. Actually, you're gonna put it under both feet. And just kind of walk out with your heels. Make sure the band is in the middle of the foot so it doesn't slip off, all right? And you're gonna lift both legs up and you're gonna pull back. I know you can feel that in your tricep. One, good. And two, I can feel it. And three, you're getting stronger each time you move. Four, and five, and Six and seven and eight. You are also strengthening your upper body because you're holding on to the band. So the upper body is getting strengthened with every single thing that you do here. Now let's let's just straighten those arms. Sit up nice and tall. Uh, this is a great exercise to strengthen most of the lower body muscles, and it's kind of a tough one. Let's pull those feet apart and hold it as long as you can. Try for eight seconds if you can. It can be tough. Now, if your arms are bent, if your elbows are bent, um, you can straighten those arms. It will make it a little bit easier. Bring those feet together. Let's try it again, and you're gonna breathe out when you do this one. Good. And then just resume your natural breathing. We don't want you to stop breathing. And you're going to bring those feet back. If you want to stay out there for an, uh, you know, a little longer, go ahead and do it. But you're going to feel this everywhere, in your glutes, in your hips, in your abdomen, in your legs, everywhere. So let's try it again. And hold. Two, three, four, and five, and six. I can feel it. Seven and eight. Do ten if you want to. Bring the feet back. Can we do one more? I think we can. Again, breathe out. Pull those feet apart as much as you can. Some of you might only be able to do a little bit. Whatever you do is gonna help and make you stronger. And just hold it out there as long as you can. Uh, pay attention to how your knees feel on this too. We don't want it to aggravate anything. All right, we're gonna bring those feet back. Wonderful. Now we're gonna just come forward. Uh, let go with just one hand so you can still hold on to the band. Uh, we are going to strengthen our quadriceps, which are important for function, getting around, getting up and down, in and out of a car, walking, living, everything. So we're going to just put this band under one foot. All right. Um, let's wrap the band once. Once here and once there. Now you're gonna lift up, bend that knee. You can rest your arms on the arms of this chair and push down, one and two, great. Three, can you feel it? And four, sitting up straight, I forget my posture too. And six, and seven, and eight, let's do 10. And nine, and 10, wonderful. Now legs straight out, straighten the arms, sit up nice and straight, and out to the side, one and two. Just to get a little movement in the hip there, and three, and four, and five, 
and six, and seven, and eight. Drop that heel down, you have two legs. So we have to do the other side. You can just let go, but make sure you're holding on with one hand so you don't have to keep picking up the band. All right, the band goes in the middle of the foot, so the toe hangs over a little bit. Let's wrap the band, whoops, slipped right out of my hand. All right, I'm gonna hold on this time. And then the other side, great. Bend that knee, rest your forearms on the arms of the chair, and push down. Now, if this isn't enough resistance, if you're not feeling anything in your quadricep, you can wrap the bands one more time. So just keep that in mind. Good. Six and seven and eight. Let's do ten and nine and ten. Wonderful. Heel down, your toe should be up, you're coming forward, and you're gonna let go with just one hand. Let's give the arms a little rest here. Let's wrap the band, and just, just turn that band to loosen up the wrist and the arms. Good, and let's see if it unravels. Yes, we'll try the other side. You're going to wrap the band and just twirl it around doesn't really do anything except maybe a little wrist action here, round and round, good. And then let it come back. Um, I hope you brought your water with you today. Have some water. We'll take a little uh, five second break here. I'm gonna wrap the band while I wait. And put the band under one foot again, good and then wrap the other side, lift up, and you're gonna pull back, and just sit nice and straight for a few seconds. Shoulders down, nice and tall, good. All right, and you're gonna bounce. One, you can actually lift that leg up to get a better stretch in the back. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, Let, let's do 16 today. And four more, and two more, and we're done. This is great. Put that heel down, sit up nice and straight. I'd like to go out to the side a little bit, so let's keep those hands right where they are. Lift that foot up, pull back again, out to the side, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, Easy enough, right? Put that heel down, come forward, let go with one hand, not both. And we have to do the same thing on the other side because we have two legs. So you're gonna put it under one foot in the middle. There we go. All right, now we're gonna wrap the band once on one side, once on the other, sitting up straight again, nice and tall. I've gotta move my band down, there we go and just pull back and bounce it again. One, two, so you're getting a stretch and a strengthening, always in the upper body. Good, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, you're gonna be so strong. All right, let's do, let's do one more. Lower body and upper body again. Under both feet, holding on to the ends. We don't have to wrap it this time. And you're just gonna kinda walk out, lift those feet up. You know what I think? I think we need to wrap. Let's put the heels down again. I wanna make it a little, a little more difficult for you. And all you're going to do is pull those arms back. You're gonna point your toes, lift a little, and then flex the foot. So it's point and flex. So this is for the feet, for the ankle, for the calf muscle. Remember, we have six, over 600 muscles. We want to work at least half of them today. I would think so. Good. My arms are going to be so strong and toned. Good. A couple more. 
Now a couple to me could be three, 10, right? You know me. All right, enough. Heels down. So I want you to feel good knowing that you are stronger from doing this. So we'll just roll the band up here, fold it, and put it wherever it usually goes. Um, while we're relaxing for a minute, I just have a couple of nice little, nice little quotes here that I thought you might get a kick out of. Um, if I had my life to live over again, I'd make the same mistakes, only sooner. And that is actress Tallulah Bankhead. Do you remember her with the deep voice and the cigarette holder? Tallulah Bankhead. Wonder how many movies she was in. I remember seeing her on television. Uh, one more. At 70, I would say the advantage is that you take life more calmly. I think that's true. You have this attitude. This too shall pass. And that was Eleanor Roosevelt. And she had a very, very interesting life, didn't she? Well liked by many people. Uh, we need to do a little stretching now. We've been contracting those muscles and we've been holding on to the band. So let's just open and close the hands. This is good for arthritis too. Open and close. Easy, it feels good. So we can say this is tension, this is relaxation. Tension relaxation. We should do this when we do our yoga. Open, close, open and close and circle. Circle your hands this time. So this is very good for the wrist. Great. And we'll go the other way. Around and around. Good, because you've been really tensing those muscles in your hands. Good. Now let's put those hands right back here on the shoulders like we did before and we're going to do circles. Good size circles this time, good. Wonderful, can you feel that in your upper back? I know you can, very effective. And then we'll go back the other way, good. Big circles, now make smaller circles, little circles, good. Round and around and around and around. Now I'm going to give you a stretch that's very simple and um, I think some people do this maybe when they've been sitting for too long or um, you know just before getting up after sitting too long just clap, clasp your hands together turn them over so you can see the tops of your hands sitting up straight don't come forward because that wouldn't be a stretch would it and you're gonna just push out and push out push out now if you have arthritis in your shoulders or your elbows or your wrists you might feel this a little bit, do the best you can. It's usually better to work through a little bit of discomfort uh, with arthritis. Always check with your doctor. Uh, it's better than doing nothing because you're not going to feel any better if you sit and really pamper yourself. You've got to be moving those joints and keeping them warm. So let's bring it back to the chest and then take a breath up through your nose. When you exhale, push out. Don't come forward though, stay back, stay nice and erect. Good, pull that chin back. Let's lift those arms up a little bit, oh yeah. Hmm, how does that feel? Pretty good. Now, I want you to grab your elbows, I like this one, and very gently pull across and hold it. Again, we're not turning now, we're using the body just to make this a better exercise and then you're gonna pull across. Great. How does that feel? Pay attention to how all these things feel. You can feel this in your upper back, in your shoulders, good. And then across and across. Ah, great. We're almost done with the upper body. We're gonna do a little bit for the lower body today. And one more time, good. Great. So you're going to sit back. Now you can sit back and relax a little bit. And what we're going to do is just circle the feet. Circle. Good for the ankles. Around and around and around. We've been using our legs with those bands and we're just going to relax them a little bit. Make those ankles more flexible for falls prevention, of course. Good. And now you can rest a little bit. Just put those heels back down again. Drop the chin down. 
and bring your head up. Great. Lift the legs up and now come away from the chair a little bit and you're going to just point those toes and flex like we did with the band, remember? So it's pointing and flexing and pointing and flexing. Good. Great for the ankles. Get that circulation going. So there, there's a lot we can do seated. Good. Keep going. Let's do four more. We'll say five and six and seven and eight. And let's finish with the Grecian stretch. That's my favorite. You know it. So quickly, let's just turn on an angle. The leg that's outside, that's closer to me, you're going to reach down and lift up. Up, 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 if you can. Sitting tall and reaching forward. See if you can balance here. All right? And pull back. Pull that chin in. So you're reaching forward and pulling back at the same time. It's a great stretch. It's a full body stretch. And we're going to just let that leg come down quickly. We'll do the other side. And we're going to end the show with this. I call it the Grecian stretch because you look like a statue. I think we look like statues. Not this, but nice and tall. Pull that chin back, reach forward and pull back at the same time. And I'm going to say bye-bye. And we'll see you next time. I'll be looking forward to it. We have more to do. Bye for now.